All right, it's the Conscious Going Gardener. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, right, so that you can uh, follow us. Right, hit that bell so that you get the notifications when we upload videos. Until our channel gets bigger, we can go live, and then you get the notifications when we go live. So today on the Conscious Going Gardener channel, we want to talk about preparedness. Okay, I'm sure most of of us can tell that in America food inflation right food shortages and inflation the height the inflation is like when the prices of things go up right to the point where you're making decisions on whether or not you want to purchase these things or not right we're talking about everything from supplies to paper plates to food right to produce right some of us are are, are, are jumping around to different stores right if we live close to different stores we'll We'll, we'll go to different stores, right? Some some of us are even traveling to go to, to, to different uh, grocery stores to find uh, reasonable prices, right? Or, or we even having to leave one store to go to somewhere else if we're planning a specific meal because we get there and they don't have what we're looking for, right? The Conscious Growing Gardens, we believe in growing our own food. We believe in growing our own produce, you know what I'm saying? Um, we believe in growing our own fruits, our own vegetables, right, organically, right? Um, we'll take the risk of dealing with the insects and the bugs and uh, and even the uh, the deer, the groundhogs, the squirrel, right, uh, the bird, right, the raccoon, right, the, 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 the stray cat, right? We'll deal with all those versus dealing with... Uh, price gouging that's been going on in, in this country uh, as, a, as, a, as a man of consciousness uh, me and the queen we already saw this coming uh, so much research has been done um, about this family that we knew that this was going to happen as far as the prices of food and uh, you know and, and uh, now we're dealing with the supplies not coming in from the trucks right from, from uh, you got you got you got supplies on, on you got trailers on boats just sitting out there you know it's coming over from overseas and they're not, even, they're not even allowing this stuff to come in right we have a bunch of in my opinion crooked politicians running this country and uh such said people have not uh been put down yet for their crimes against humanity and those that have been right uh it's under uh classified right it's a it's a uh, it's a uh secret indictment on them right and uh just pick the next man up you know you just, just they, they treat it like a basketball game uh or a football game right when, when we get when we go after one of these criminals one of these politicians and they go down for crimes against humanity or whatever they've done right for pedophilia right then all they all happens is next man up and they continue to to push their agenda on we the people we have to stand up as a community, right? But while we're trying to do that, what are they doing? They're constantly race baiting us. They're using their mainstream media. They're using their uh, 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 different uh, celebrities and, and uh, uh, your favorite uh, news commentators or, or analysts, right? To come out come on TV and give us a scenario on why we should be upset about whatever's going on in this country and using everything as a race uh, uh, co uh, com com competition against us to continue to distract us while they're doing their bidding against us <clears throat> we should be mad at our politicians for the way they run in this country for the way they've done this 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 uh this outbreak for the way they found more uh, 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 smallpox vials uh, uh, in Philly, in, in Montgomery, Philly, <clears throat> that's not supposed to be there. So we got illegal moves by Dr. Ouchie Fauci, in my opinion, and his crew. And I suggest that these people are high-ranking high politicians like the like like uh, those that are in uh, in the uh, administration, the present administration, as 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 well as uh, the big wigs, 
right? On both sides of the party. I suggest the Bushes, the Clintons, okay? Even even the Obamas knew about this and were, and, and were a part of it, okay? So, so my people always think that our people are supposed to be supported because we go through so much, right? And we, and we go through so much in this country, we go through so much to try to, to, try to uh, have certain freedoms, right? But guilty is guilty, wrong is wrong, and right is right. I see no color line when we're talking about uh, righteousness and unrighteousness, right? And a problem, in a, a problem that we have in our country is that some people want to see color when they when they see when they see when they when they, when they get to righteous and unrighteous, they start looking at color, and I you can't do that. You can't look at oh that's the color or, or that's or that's the party, and that's the, that color is that red or that blue, right? Bloods or Crips, Democrats or Republicans, right? Christians or Muslims. Black or white, there's always some divide, the vaxxed and the unvaxxed. It's always something, right? We have to have a conscious mind to know that there are good people, red, black, yellow, and white. There are good people on both sides, and there are bad people of every creed and color, right? Some people more so than others, right? Some of these rules have been created by people who are in power, right? And they've been created against different ethnicities, ethnicities of people, right? Depending on uh, where you live, how much money you got, right? They got a, they got a poverty line too, right? The rich and the poor, right? They're always trying to find some way to divide us, right? And then, unfortunately, in most cases, and not all cases, but in a lot of cases, some of my people, not all my people, some of my people suggest that everything that happens to them, they have to look to their celebrities or to their or to their to their, to their preachers, to, their, to you know to these ministers, these high uh, 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 mega church preachers that's running, you know, telling us how to how to think. You know, I'm looking I'm looking and seeing T.D. Jakes make comments about about the the young man uh, who uh, who who recently. Uh, got off for shooting uh, uh, three uh, Caucasian men. He's Caucasian himself. And I don't understand. I can understand people having their own their, their opinion about it, right? But we got so much going on in our community as, a, as, as an African-American or a black man in this country, right, that we, we sometimes we don't have a dog in the fight, you know what I'm saying? Even if you have an opinion, sometimes you should just keep it to yourself. You don't have a dog in that fight, you know what I'm saying? My, but since everybody's giving their opinion, you know what I'm saying? If I was running, if I had a gun, as a black man, if I had a gun, and I was running away from three guys who were trying to uh, do ha bodily harm to me, one of them who had a gun himself, right? And I and and I and I was running and I couldn't get away from them, and they, and they got caught up to me, and I had to turn around and use my firearm against them. God forbid that I should ever have to kill any man, any man. You know what I'm saying? But I have to think of self-preservation. Self-preservation is going to kick in. If somebody's after you, you have a gun, and you, you first try to do is your first your first thought is to get away from them and not to go to war with them, then you're not looking for trouble. But if you have the gun on you and you're trying to get away and these guys come after you, this is this this is why I don't see color. I'm talking about facts. Some of us get into these these color games and all of this carrying on. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that we don't have a problem in this country when it comes to color and stay in your place and create your skin. But some of us have been blinded by it because even when it's not on the table, we try to make it about that. MSNBC tries to make it about that. CNN tries to make it about that. You know what I'm saying? These these color-coded uh, mainstream media people, you know what I'm saying? Using using these uh 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 these uh these bed winch and these and these and these uh step and fetch uh so-called uh analysts and commentators to come on TV and stand in front of a camera and a microphone and tell you that everything that you see is all about racism. Some people would say the young man got off because it was favoritism. Because he because he because he was a white man, right? He was a white young man and, and the judge was a white was a white man, right? How come in our community we don't look out for each other like that? I just want to ask a question. How come in our community a black brother, a black police officer, don't look out for another black man in the neighborhood like that. How come? How come a black judge? We got black judges. How come they don't look out for our for our black brothers like that? 
seeing him as a young man and not as a criminal. That's what that man, that's what that judge did. He saw him as a young man and not as a criminal. How come we don't how come we don't give each other the benefit of doubt over those type of things, right? We too busy trying to shoot up the club or, or shoot up the, you know, shoot the celebrity and, and, and become a, a, a you know a marksman and, and get your name in the paper. You call yourself a thug and go down and go down in jail and get you some stars and some bars. Why you think you think you somebody because you didn't went to prison? Our community needs to a, needs to be healed, and we also need a wake up call on how to realize uh, how to use your uh, <clears throat> your voice in this community, in our community, in this country. We have got to start using our dollars to speak volume. We have got to start using. The, the, the power of unity as being together collectively, not as not as separation. This guy, my block, this, that, this, that. Right, things to tr trust. We need to start finding things that bring us together <clears throat> in this country rather than things that divide us. Division is how these politicians continue to do their be their bidding against we the people. Red, yellow, black, and white. We all get we all get a piece of, of the action when they play our communities. Not just, the, not just the poor communities, not just the middle class communities, right? Here's the thing. Celebrities will come on here and tell you how to vote. And they don't, they don't, they don't, whatever happens in this country financially to you doesn't affect them like it affects them. Like, do you think the inflation and the gas prices and the food prices, right, are affecting the rich right now? Most of the people that's rich are, are are invested in certain things and making money off of them. You think? Do you think celebrities are are, are, are is, 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 do you think that uh, uh uh they're being affected by the by the, by the uh public school system and the, and, the, and the pipeline to prison? You know what I'm saying? Most 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 people that go to uh prison are are, are not rich. Most of these people can 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 pay off judges or or allegedly or, or get a lawyer. Right and get a, and get a, and, and and get a you know and, and work their hand and get and get them off. But you and I, middle class, upper middle class, right? Uh, 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 poor, right? Under the poverty line, sandwich, sandwich eating, serve eating, people, right? Don't stand a chance in in a, in a, in a court case without a, without a, without a, without a, with a court appointed lawyer, who 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 really works for you but the other side so it's a conflict of interest and they're not going to tell you that we have to start finding common ground so that we can start unifying against these criminals these politicians right that are that are, that are destroying our country destroying controlling let me tell you something he who controls uh, he who controls plants the plant life right controls the people controls the food life okay and he who who controls uh the rules the laws of this country right and the courts of this country right controls the freedoms we have got to make sure that we dealing with a smaller government we have got to make sure that our government is under control. We have got to let, let, let our government know that they work for us and we do not work for them. We have got to let them know that we are about the Constitution. And if you're not going to do constitutional law, then your law is not is unjust and it's no law at all. During these times where, 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 where food and inflation is, is so high for all our products, but food is one of the main things that we need because you can... There are three things in this world you need, food, shelter, and water to survive. So in this time and day and age where food is one of the main sources, what we're talking about, lack thereof or shortages of in our, in our community, in the world, period, right? We're still, we're eating on last year's crop. And the year before that, we didn't have a lot of crops because there were a lot of flooding in all our farms. And now this year, a lot of the farmers got stimulus checks before you and I did. And those checks they gave them were not so they did, so that they would not farm. So there is no crop for next season, which is going to make the price of food and produce go through the roof. We're getting we're getting uh, uh, 
messages and news that that are one of our biggest imports of beef which is brazil have been caught uh or supposedly allegedly right i think right uh maybe uh taking horse meat and mixing it and saying it's beef and cutting it up and, and so so they're they're, 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 they're either saying they're not going to accept the beef here or or how that how's that supposed to work right we got all types of evil criminality going on it with even within our food not just in the laws and the unjust and unfairness of, 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 of a man of a man being prejudged because of his skin color in this country or looked as a stereotype right or 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 or, or, or saying everything goes on in this country is about race what happened to that young man getting off yesterday may have to do if somebody wants to say it has something to do with race it sure don't have to have nothing to do with 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 with, with, a, with a man of color's race because all all those men involved were all Caucasian men, but young Dolph is in his own city and gets gunned down by a man of color, right? By a man of color, and same man of color. Young Dolph is a, a rapper and, and from Memphis, Tennessee. He gets gunned down in his own city while he's doing a good deed in his own city, right? For the people, and then they go to a visual, and they shoot they shoot in there too. So we have a problem in our own community, but we talking about what's going on in the country, what's going on, what's going on with uh, 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 with uh, with with these cases and these and these judges, right? And the unfairness that y'all think, oh, if he was black, he would this, he would that, right? But we don't even treat each other right. They had a visual and they shooting at the man's visual. Who does that? These people are challenged mentally on how you supposed to act. And how you supposed to treat? And there's certain codes in the street. There ain't no code. We do. We wouldn't. This is the same. This is exactly why. This is exactly why they can't. They won't never, ever, can, ever, ever close prisons. It's always gonna be a prison open. We always gonna have poor people, and we always gonna have prisons in this country, because people are ignorant. No matter what the deal is behind that situation, right? You will find yourself regretting things behind wall, behind four walls, and a and a and a and a, uh, and, a and a cell with a with a you know that when that thing when that thing locked boom at night, you'll find yourself regretting more than if you would have sat down and had a conversation, try to reason with somebody. Violence should always be the last case of scenario. Violence should, violence should really be used to protect oneself and one's family. I know we get upset. I know we get angry. I know we have hard days. I know. I know we go through things. I know we. I know. We, I know we come from slavery, and so the first thing people think is, you know, I'm gonna whoop you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm I'm get the switch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna whoop your butt. You know, what I'm saying it, it's, it, it gets ingrained in your system and in your in your bloodline and in your life. And if your if, if your if your mama whooped your butt, then you, you know, sometimes grow up whooping your own kids. But you know, what I'm saying, and I I say that we can we can challenge ourselves to figure out a way to. Uh, bring uh <clears throat> to bring uh what you would call uh punishment or or or, or a, a, a a redirecting of your children's energy towards them without always having to use the same tactics that 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 you know that 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 was given or done to us on this land you know you know what I'm saying that that's impeded in us right you know, we, we can do all kinds of things. We can take we can take certain things that we bought our kids that we know they like away. We can challenge them uh, uh, to, uh, to to do chores, more chores, extra chores on top of the chores if they're already doing chores, right? We can uh, uh, we can take take different uh, places that they might want to go, right? We can take their uh, uh, nowadays. We can definitely take all their electronics away, right? There's different ways. There's different ways of punishment on, on, on training up your, your your kids. It doesn't always have to go with a switch or a belt, right? We're living in a new we're living in a new millennium, and so people want everybody wants to be included. Everybody wants to be accepted, right? Some people are trying to over push their agenda on us so they can get so they can be accepted. It ain't just an acceptance now. They want they like look. This is how it is, and and this ain't just an acceptance. We want we want as many people as we can to convince to be this way. This is a new. This is a new way. This is a new follow. You know what I'm saying? Because people think that you can put apples in people's mouth, or you can get on TV and say something, and everybody's like, "Yes, we will follow." Because they, because they got, they got a lot of us programmed to think everything is racial, 
to think everything is a, a biased to think everything is unfair right and this is just a distraction when they why, why, at the same time while they're slipping in smallpox allegedly right supposedly we, we ain't found the vials in in philly so it ain't really alleged but i'm just gonna say it for youtube purposes while they're constantly hiking up the food right the, the same pack of chicken that was that was 10 and 12 dollars is now 18 19 dollars or they're lowering or they're lowering the size of the cans or the pops or or or, or, or how many or how many uh uh uh, uh Reese's is in a pack right or how many pounds uh, uh you get in, the, in in your in your in your in your chuck meat right or how many steaks in the thing in, in the pound for the same price right they, they're, they're shrinking the boxes of cereal putting the bags and making it tighter and putting less less put putting the same size box with le with less cereal in it and you can see it on the label less 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 pounds of cereal in there for more price right inflation is through the roof three or four dollars for for a, a loaf of bread and we distract we're distracted by 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 the color of skin and what's going on. even though we i'm not saying we don't have that problem in this in our country Right? We have some racial issues in our country. We cannot just say yeah, there's nothing here. But sometimes we have to focus on the mo on a bigger thing. How can we figure out those things? Right? And, and when we when we if we can't even feed ourselves, we have to be conscious about all things, and we have to grow in all areas of our lives. We've grown since the 70s. We've grown since the 80s or the 90s, right? But we've got a lot more growing to do. And we have to do it consciously. Okay? Get you some seeds. Get you some soil. Get you some pots. Okay? If you don't have your own backyard, right? If you do, get you get you a tiller. Start composting your own, your own leftover food, right? Watch the conscious growing gardeners and start growing together, right? And not just in the garden, but in every area of your life, all right? Peace and light.